All right, man, peace. So, brothers, this is going to be part four in the series on Nas and Khalees, a match made in hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, I laugh whenever I read that title to myself because it's a damn shame, man. It really is a damn shame. Brothers still out here signing these contracts and not vetting the person that they're getting contractually obligated to. Makes no sense whatsoever. But anyway, let's see what Nas had to say here. He says, didn't want to bring up money. Well, that's a damn lie. We all know that you want to bring up money, brother. Stop, <laughs> Stop playing games. This whole issue is about money. But since that's the fuel behind all of this, let me say that I gave you the tools to be successful after you was dropped from your label. Hey, brothers, let me say this. And this may happen to many of you. And I touched on this in the video that I did on Brandon Browner. The concubine problems video that I did on Brandon Browner. When you're in a relationship with someone and you decide that you love that person, what is love? Love is loyalty and sacrifice. You are going to do certain things that if the relationship don't work, you just have to swallow that, man. You got to take that loss. And I think that Nast has accepted that, that he had to take that loss, but he's just bringing it up because he's trying to win the case in the court of public opinion. But once again, a lot of you brothers may have been through this. Maybe you were in a better place in your life than the female that you're dealing with. And she decided that she wants to go back to school or, or whatever. You might have helped her with her rent or her phone bill or whatever. And then as soon, as soon as she got on, she started acting brand new. In life, that happens with both men and women. So you have to be prepared for that. You have to think about those things. Loyalty is not something that most people have, man. It's just not. Most people are not loyal. So you have to accept that. Loyalty is something that's either in your DNA or it's not. Somebody cannot be taught to be loyal. Oftentimes when people are acting loyal, it's because of what you have to offer them. If you did not have that thing to offer them, they would not be loyal to you. All right? So, I mean, that's just the fact of the matter. So let me say that I gave you the tools to be successful after you was dropped from your label. And that's another thing. Khalees tries to make it like, well, you know, the reason why she was not in the industry for very long is because she wasn't an industry person. She didn't get along with those people. No, they didn't like you. You were not talented. The only reason why you were signed in the first place is because you were pansexual. You were having sex with everybody, allegedly. Allegedly. But she was known as one of the fun girls around town. All right. Like most angry women who would sing songs like I hate you so much right now and milkshake. She was having sex with everybody. She met Nas. She was young. She thought that she was going to live out her fantasy of being with Nas. And that he was also going to be her come up. Shit didn't work. Brothers, most of these females under 35 years old. They <laughs> most of them under 35 years old. They're on their own personal journey in life. I oftentimes bring this point up. And many of you brothers out there that are in my age group, you'll understand what I'm saying. If you were out there in the 2000s, you'll know that damn near every female that you met either wanted to be on America's Next Top Model or American Idol. If they were in their 20s, they acted like they could or should have been on one of those two shows. Because the woman in general, she falls for the glitz and the glamour, man. They want to be a part of all that. They want to be all up in the mix and all that. Especially when they're in their 20s or really from the age of about 16 to their early 30s. When a woman gets around 29 or 30 and she's still not where she quote unquote thinks she should be in life. They go through a lot of turmoil. So for the most part, the woman is not really even relationship ready until she's about 35 years old, man. I'm just letting you brothers know that. And when I say relationship ready, I'm not even talking about from a wife perspective. I'm just talking about from someone who even moderately understands how to be with another person. Are there exceptions to that rule? Sure. But for the most part, no. And then on top of that, they're being coaxed by a lot of their older female relatives whose life did not turn out well to go out there and do the same thing. Go out there and have fun. Sample various dicks. Why is that? Because their mother and their auntie don't want to see them end up with something that they never got, which was a functional relationship. It's a virus that gets passed from woman to woman. 
So you have to understand those things when you deal with the woman, man. He says, I paid for your cooking school, Cordon Bleu. The expensive yellow stove we have flown in from Europe. I helped pay for the remodeling of your house. All that shit, brother, you was doing. All that shit you was doing. And <laughs> she still slept with another man on your ass and did a sex tape on it. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? So my point is this. He did all those things. He gonna have to eat that. He's gonna have to deal with it. And I think that he has for the most part. I really do. Even though I've been kind of hard on Nas in this series. One of the main reasons why I'm hard on him. Quote unquote. Is because he, you know. He's supposed to be wiser than that. Especially as a brother who a lot of cats look to. For inspiration and wisdom in his hip hop and his rhymes. But. To be quite frank with you, you're never supposed to look to a rapper for wisdom. All these guys are minstrels, all of them. The term minstrel means an entertainer. His job is to entertain the masses. Not be a vessel for wisdom. It's like the fool in the medieval court. The fool could say things to the king that nobody else could say. Oftentimes it was filled with wisdom hidden within a, a rhyme or a verse or music. But he was not someone who could sit down and write a book that could transform society. That's a minstrel. He says, your assistant stole thousands from my CC according to Amex. Out of all people, you should be completely understanding of my grind. So Nas, her assistant stole thousands. How do you think her assistant got access to your account in the first place? <laughs> oh boy. Out of all people, you should be completely understanding of my grind. But you just can't win with you. Brothers, look. When you're with a female who everything that you do, she turns into something negative. She's letting you know something. She's letting you know that she's not relationship material. Once again, the job of the woman is to make you happy. Your job as a man is to make the most high happy. That's the order. You can't be concerned with the happiness of the woman because the woman is never happy, man. She has to get her happiness from making you happy. That's where the woman is supposed to get her happiness from. From making you happy. You as a man, you get your happiness from making the most high happy. Now, a lot of these women are liberal now. So, even in the so-called church system, they try to utilize their, their liberalism. They'll say things like, Christ is my husband. Or God is my husband Because they're saying that they're too good for an earthly man When a woman says that Christ is her husband What she's really saying is that she's the mother goddess Because for a person to have the nerve to say that Christ is their husband They're truly saying that they're a deity Right or wrong What else could she be saying? And a lot of these females are too stupid to even understand what they're actually saying When they make a statement like that to say that Christ is their husband Christ is not marrying your ass So no you're not Christ's wife Christ's bride is the church Meaning the elect of Israel That's his only bride You are not his bride No woman could be married to Christ Your job as a woman is to, be, is to be married to a man And to serve that man That's your job to be a helping to a man I know a lot of people are not going to like that Oh well It is what it is Let's see here But you just can't win with you Once again brothers You're not supposed to be concerned with trying to win the woman over Your job is to be a functional individual She's supposed to be naturally won over by your functionality Once you show that you're a functional man Her job is to make you happy If you're caught in a rut where you're trying to make a woman happy You're a damn fool My schedule is crazy, but you never help me see my son. Why would she help you, bro? She looks at you as, as her enemy. She looks at you as her enemy. So, because Nas does not respect or adhere to many of the principles of the scriptures, now he falls prey to the curses. And I get a lot of these brothers come on my channel talking about Deuteronomy 28. Many of you brothers that try to blame Deuteronomy 28... For all the issues that you may have is obviously because you don't accept Christ because it tells you in Galatians the third chapter 
that Christ redeemed us from those curses. So if you're still talking about that, it's because maybe you're not as in tuned with the spirit of the Most High or the scriptures that you try to act like you are. Now these curses, they still overcome and overwhelm many of our people who are in ignorance or who are proud. That's an issue that they have to deal with. But in regards to many of the curses that brothers try to put on everything that goes wrong in their life, you're not supposed to accept that, man. And that's the problem with a lot of our people, especially those of us who claim to be in the knowledge or whatever it is that you claim to be. We want to blame everybody else for our problems. We want to make certain factions more powerful than they actually are. If you're actually a child of the Most High, a child of His Son, then all these things should not be affecting you. You're supposed to be thinking in a positive, productive way. So, a lot of times, these issues befall people like a Nas because the Most High is not dealing with him on a certain level. Because if he was, he would not have allowed himself to be subjected to that environment. So brothers have to really ask themselves, am I allowing bad things to happen to me or are they just happening? Are bad things just happening to me or, or am I allowing those things or provoking those things by my flagrant disregard for certain principles? So I state, man, if you actually go through the scriptures, it tells you all about the woman. It tells you about a lot of the aspects of life and things to not get caught up in. It's not that difficult, man. It's really not. Once again, the woman is beautiful. She's a treasure when she's in her right mind. When she's not, she's something to be watched. So you have to understand that, man. You can't deal with the average female in this society like you would a woman who was properly raised and trained to respect her man, the masculine principle her community, etc. That's why I talk about the pro-blacks so much because they're all fluff. They're all frosting, no cake. That's what they are. So-called pro-blackity black woman, she talks all day about black this, black that, black this, black that. But in reality, her true God is the liberal white woman. That's who the true God is of the so-called pro-black liberal black woman. It's the liberal white woman. And they will side with feminism way before they do any racial issue. But, you know, that's another video for another day. But the liberal black woman, she likes to play free safety. She plays free safety in between three different ideologies. The racialist, the globalist, and the feminist. And she sides with whatever faction or ideology is, is the most opportunistic for her. Will give her the best opportunity to flourish at that particular moment. If she needs to talk about race issue, then she will for that moment because it will give her attention. If she needs to talk about homosexual rights and uh, lesbian rights and transgender rights and loving everybody all across the world, then she will for that moment. If she needs to talk about women's rights, she will for that moment. Whatever it takes to get her attention, that's what she'll do. Okay? So, these are all the various dynamics that brothers have to consider when they decide to embark on a relationship with a Western woman, man. There are things that you can do to prevent a lot of the dumb shit, but you have to understand that. And once again, you can't always blame Deuteronomy 28 for your problems, especially if you're somebody who allegedly knows the Bible already. Sometimes you're in a bad situation because you're a fuck up. That's why. You can't just blame the curses for every damn thing. Sometimes you're a fuck up. Accept that and do better. Let's see here. I'm hardly allowed to talk to him on the phone ever my lawyer told me bring the cops to your house and show my court orders when you don't let me get him or answer your phone but who besides you wants to show their kids that his parents are that out of control well brother sometimes you have to reveal the harsh realities to your child because if you're the only one trying to be respectful quote-unquote respectful allegedly to the perspective of your child or the effect that revealing certain information to your child may have on his growth, then you're gonna to have to recalibrate your plan of attack. Because at the end of the day, that woman is not your friend. She's just not. So if she's not going to work with you, you have to work through the courts, and sometimes your son may have to learn certain things. You can't hide everything from your son because eventually he's gonna be faced with those facts when he gets older. Once again, the so-called black man has to teach his son these things, man. 
so that he does not get caught up in the same situation. Now, Nas is the type to get into this situation with this broad, Khalees, and then tell his son, oh no, son, there's a wonderful, magical woman out there for you, and she's going to entrance you, and you're going to sweep her off her feet, and you're going to be married for 60 years. That's not reality, man. You could tell your son that that woman might be out there, but the vast majority of these broads are here number $2 hoes. And that's the fact of the matter. Does that mean that every woman is? No. There's good women out here, but the vast majority of my hoes. They call it being independent. All an independent woman is, that's a nice way of saying a $2 hoe. And you can get mad about that if you want. It is what it is. Let's see here. I've been going through lawyers to stop you from this bullshit for years. I finally got our custody together to work with both our schedule through court. While leaving court, you tell me you're going to get me back for fighting to see my son. And three weeks later, you're on camera doing an interview about your truth. Now, brothers, you see what Nas did here? <laughs> he put quotation marks around your truth. Because even he is seeing through the liberal female tactic of utilizing that term my truth because supposedly they've been so oppressed for all these years they've never been allowed to speak out the woman has been speaking out for 50 years now it's just that 90 percent of what they speak out about is pure unadulterated bullshit and everybody knows it even other women so that's why they had to come up with this term my truth or your truth that's their way of saying facts don't matter. Only my feelings matter. There's only the truth. You can't have your truth. I can't have my truth. I can have my perspective. You can have your perspective. We might both see the same event from two different angles. You might not have as good an angle as I have to see exactly what transpired. So you have a different perspective. Our perspectives can be affected by various things. Our sensory abilities. Our cognitive function. Sometimes you'll have a man and a woman, they'll engage in some type of argument and they'll both have totally disparate versions of what happened and what caused it. Oftentimes it's because what? The male brain can work different from the female brain. It's not even that people remember things differently, it's that people sense two different things. So that's another thing. When you're dealing with a female and you guys have some type of verbal difference, does she at least show that she's able to recognize what actually transpired? If you're with a completely delusional woman, brothers, that's a major red flag, man. You're at the table arguing and you guys are arguing because she didn't want you to order a certain meal because it was bad for you. And then two hours later, you're rehashing it and she's saying the reason why I said that is because I didn't like your shirt. I mean, that's... <laughs> That brought might be bashy crazy. You might want to rethink that relationship, man. So let's see here. He says, I finally got our custody together to work with both our schedule through court. While leaving court, you tell me you're going to get me back for fighting to see my son. And three weeks later, you're on camera doing an interview about your truth. Interesting timing. Do what you want, just don't violate another court order, sis, because the judge won't like that at all. That's good, bro. It took you long enough to understand that you have to utilize the legal system. Why would you not? That should have been the first thing that you did. Utilize the court system. We see the same situation with Matt Barnes and his former flame. And we also see the complete disregard for the court order in that situation as well. It's very obvious that, that many of these women have mental problems, brothers. So when are you going to figure it out? So that you can avoid a lot of that dumb shit. It's very obvious that she has a mental problem. Same thing with Matt Barnes' former flame. I'll probably be doing a video about that as well. Do what you want, just don't violate another court order, sis, because the judge won't like that at all. The judge already ordered you to pay my legal fees because he was tired of you wasting everyone's time in court. <laughs> and you could tell what Nas is saying here is true because that is why Khalees was crying in her interview with the homosexual man 
at Hollywood Unlocked. Because not only was she looking for sympathy, but she was frustrated at the fact that she knew that Nas was going to win the court case. She knew that already. So she had to try to seek some type of sympathy somewhere. So she's going to cleave on to me. That just shows you the lack of integrity that that female is suffering from. It is what it is. No lawyer wants to represent you after what you put them through. That's why you texted me today asking me for more child support money and you want to keep it out of court. You will not stop me from, from fighting for my son. Remember God sees all and I'm no longer allowing you to take advantage of the fact that I did not want to respond in a manner that could affect my kids, friends or family publicly. That ends today. Well, you know what? You should have done this a long time ago, but better late than never. Okay, so now we're on to part six. Now it says everything with her is a plot and a scheme. Well, you're going to find that out about, <laughs> about many modern day females, bro. And when I say bro, I'm talking to you brothers out there, especially you younger brothers. Oftentimes, yes, the, the woman's heart is a scheme. Hey, read Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. Read what Solomon says about the woman. He had a lot of experience dealing with women. And he basically said the same thing that Nas is saying here. I believe it says, I believe that Solomon states, I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. Her heart, meaning her mind, is snares and nets. Meaning what? The woman is always trying to entrap a man or ensnare a man in a plot or a scheme. Once again, that's what Solomon said. I'm not saying that. That's what Solomon said. I just happen to agree with him. Okay? <laughs> I just happen to agree. He said that. I didn't say it. So don't get mad at me. And if you are, oh well. Let me read it again. Everything with her is a plot and a scheme. It has no merit. No foundation. I don't want to speak up because I have real respect for our women. Well, that's the problem, bro. If you really have respect for the woman, you would speak up. You have to help the woman correct herself. That's your job as a man. Is to assist the woman in correcting her bullshit, man. But a lot of you guys are simps. So you're scared to say the truth. Because you're worried about being branded a quote-unquote chauvinist or a quote-unquote misogynist or a woman hater or what have you. I've had conversations about this with brothers in the past off the internet. The biggest misogynists and chauvinists on the planet Earth are super mega feminists. They hate women more than anything on the planet Earth. That's why eventually they become lesbians and what's the first thing that they do? They start dressing up like men. Because they hate being a woman. There's no creature on the Earth that hates women that's a bigger misogynist more than the mega feminist. Okay? And that's all it's about. That's all it's ever been about. They're jealous of men. They're jealous of the power that men have intrinsically. And instead of trying to magnify, or at least I should say optimize, the power and the beauty of the woman, they're more worried about trying to take the power from the man. And that's why these super mega feminists, they're always so unhappy and so bitter. And they go from person to person trying to find happiness, and they never find it, man. But once again, like Nas stated in the first sentence... Everything with her is a plot and a scheme. As Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 7.26. I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. I believe it says that he that pleases the most high shall escape from her. Meaning what? When you follow after the precepts of the scriptures, you're not going to fall prey to her bullshit, man. Very important. Very important. Cannot stress it enough. You have to be able to discern and decipher a lot of the bullshit going on around you. If you're not someone that pays very close attention, you will get caught out there. That's the bottom line of it. But let's read on. Now it says, has no merit, no foundation. I didn't want to speak up because I have real respect for our women. No, bro, you're just scared of being called a misogynist. So you're still simping. And definitely my son. I do not beat women. I did not beat up my ex-wife. Stop. 
you got beat up in court. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, she did get her ass whooped in court. How much money do you want? Do you want me to relinquish my rights to see my son? Is that what you want? No, bro. I'm going to tell you the same thing like I told Tyrese when he looked into the camera and cried like a bitch and said, What more do you want from me? I said, Your soul, nigga. That's what she want. She wants your soul. Okay? She's like Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. Same way that Bane wanted to break Batman. That's how she wants to break you, man. That's just how it goes. That's why they say there's a very thin line between love and hate. How much money do you want? She wants everything. She wants everything. Everything you got, brother. All right? She wants you to be sitting on the corner with a big piece of cardboard in your hand that says, we'll wrap for food. <laughs> do you want me to relinquish my rights to see my son? Is that what you want? Just tell me. After all the tweets and posts you made through the years, Disrespecting me and my family, I still have love for you as the mother of my child, but I am done with this. This game ends now, and God will be the judge of all this. And, uh, and although you told everyone God hates me, some Christian you are, I will survive and thrive from this moment because I know who I am, and you have not a clue who you are. Well, look, let me say this. Because now I said a lot there. <laughs> he said a lot there. But once again, brothers, when you're in a situation with a female where she's constantly disrespecting, quote unquote, those are his words, or that's his word, disrespecting his family, she disrespected him. Whose fault was that? Who allowed that? Who allowed that? Whatever you go through in life is based off of what you tolerate and what you, and I'm sure that Nas understands that Khalees tries to talk crazy with him because she knows that they can go through court, but also she's a hood rat. She basically said that herself, that she loves to fight. She said that. Damn near 40 years old talking about she loves to fight. But that's what attracted Nas. Obviously. He was caught up in that. That so-called thug chick persona. So he fell for it. Now he has to pay in more ways than one. He said the game ends now and God will be the judger of all this. Well, of course, the most high going to be the judger of everything. It just seems interesting that that Nas is trying to call down, quote unquote, God. And when people say God, that could mean anything. We don't know what he's talking about when he says God. He could be talking about the God of the scriptures. He could be talking about the God of the entertainment industry. Who knows? And although you tell everyone God hates me, some Christian you are, I will survive and thrive from this moment because I know who I am and you have not a clue who you are. Well, I partially believe that. I do believe that Khalees is going through an issue, an identity crisis right now. And that's very common for females around her age. Because once again, she's dealing with the inner turmoil of starting to lose her sex appeal. So that's a major, major thing with women as they get older. Major. But, you know, this society spends so much time talking about the identity crises that men go through. The age crises that men go through. And they don't pay as much attention to the women and their issues because they're trying to cast them as being these super strong creatures. And don't get it twisted. The woman is very strong in her own way. As a matter of fact, there's nothing like the strength of a woman when she's loyal to you and when she wants to see good things for you. There's nothing like that. Whether it be your mother, your sister, your significant other, or what have you. That's the beauty of the woman. Once again, certain people might listen to the things that I'm saying and they may try to construe it or misconstrue it. I really don't give a shit. The man has a nature and a beauty, so does the woman. When you reject that, that's where all this confusion comes in. Okay, so now this is the last part of Nas's rant. He's pretty much going to close out his statements. Let's see what he has to say. And to all the fans that knew my silence was due to the fact that I don't openly do this kind of petty shit. I appreciate you writing. And to those that were led down the wrong path, I get it. Very sensitive times and all things must be taken seriously. This is my truth. 
So he's trying to use Khaleesi's own words and sentiments against her. And I don't care what else she has left to say unless it concerns our son. This is the first and last time I'm addressing this. Despite all of this, I still hope for the best for her because what's best for her is what's best for Knight. Love, Nas. So, in the end, what we can glean from this is that Nas felt compelled to write this letter to try to offset a lot of the statements that Khalees has been making to the public that were going to hurt his career and eventually would have hurt the amount of money that he can give her. And that just shows you how silly a lot of these women are. Jamel Hill did the same thing, trying to advocate for fans of the NFL to boycott the sponsors of certain NFL teams while she worked with ESPN and the NFL has a partnership with ESPN. This person, Khalees, is trying to hurt Nas's public appeal, which would hurt his income, which would hurt the amount of money that she can get. Just go to show you how dumb she is. It is what it is. But anyway, brothers, please remember it takes a long time to get to know a female. It takes a long time to get to know anyone in your life, male or female. The same way that it should take a long time for you to even develop a modicum of quote unquote trust in the woman. And I say quote unquote trust because there's a difference between trust and quote unquote trust. It takes a long time for you to develop that level of quote unquote trust with the woman. It should take a long time for you to develop a quote unquote trust in a male friend because a lot of these dudes out here, they're nothing but women trapped in males' bodies, man. They sit back and want to hear what you have to say and want to see what they could use against you down the line or say something of that nature or do something of that nature. So you have to utilize discretion in your comings and goings, your interactions with people. That's the moral of this story, man. It's pretty much the same moral to every situation that we come across in regards to quote-unquote relationships in this society. So it is what it is. Peace.